Hey everybody, welcome, welcome back to the Infinite Regression. This is where you belong. Come on, friends. You know, you know what's up. You know what is up. You know what is up. Anyway, this is that Infinite Regression where it's, it's terrifying, but guess what? It's the terrifying you were born into. So, you know... If you if you're born on a roller coaster, roller coaster ain't got nothing to scare you. You're born into this terrifying mess. Well, guess what? You're gonna be fine. Anyway, hey, hey, look at what this is, huh? Right? Island craft. I I will admit, since last you saw, um, I have crafted a great deal in my island. Like a great deal. Like a whole bunch. Like a significant amount. Anyway, uh, so my island has been very leveled. It's been added to. Um, I'm trying to like build it up on all sides. I was going to have this policy of like not going to other islands until um I had actually reached them with my land mass, but I was like, well, then I'm not going to be able to reach with my land mass because I ran out of sand and, uh, you know, dirt from digging this out and from mining down. And so, like, had to go over to the other island. So, anyway. Hey, did I did I play the theme song? Did, did I play the theme? Did I? It's it's Island Craft. Let's play the theme song. Did we? Did I play the theme song? This has always this song. This has always been the theme song. This has always been the theme. This has always been the theme song. This has always been the theme. Cha. My, my goodness, uh, what are the out-of-tuners getting up to, I wonder? It's supposed to be the same one week after week. Anyway, back to uh, Game. To ha. Uh, how do you mispronounce the word the? To ha? That's your, your go-to, to ha. For mispronouncing the word the. A thing that we all do all the time. Like humans, you're human, right? A agreed human, like recognized as human and saying like, yeah, totes human. Super Mad Max totes human. Anyway, ugh, this is beyond Thunderdome. Um, here we go. I'm opening chestuses, and I'm putting in thinguses. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you that um, I have been told by a person who has watched me watch these episodes, and they were like, you're constantly talking about the types of things you do on the weekend. And I was like, pfft. The freak I am. And they're like, yeah, you do always. And and then they say the things I do on the weekend. I'm like, I don't say that. I don't say that part. I just say it's a weekend and I'm an adult and I do what I want on the weekend. And um, then she'd be like, uh, they're going to know what you mean by that. And I'm like, not necessarily. I mean, I could just be over here um, staying up late and watching favorite episodes of MASH. That's right. Love that show. Hawkeye Pierce. Yeah. Oh, dirt. This is how weird it is. Like, uh, when you're when you're playing Minecraft... Uh, just normal and whatnot. Uh, when you're playing it and you, um, 
you aren't on an island of some sort. Uh, you're you're out there in a big continent of some sort. Anyway, uh, when you're playing Minecraft like that, dirt, you be throwing it away. You don't hang on to your dirt. But when you're on an island like Ireland, Ireland's an island. Oh, didn't you know that? Ireland, the entire country's a big island. Anyway, it's true. <clears throat> well. <sighs> really, no more chevels. Thought I was carrying chevels for just these occasions. Really, I'm just waiting out the interminable interminable bits of night awaiting the break of day and isn't that what life is all about waiting out the interminable bits of night awaiting the day certainly that's what life's about I wouldn't know what else it could possibly be about You know, uh, not just that. Okay, let's take it in multiple ways at once. Mm. All right. So, night times. Uh, while they are the right times to be with the one you love, like, still, they, they are exhausting... And if you go too deep into them, um, you you will pay for it. You there, you know there is no going into the deep dark of the night and and just coming out the other side and being like, "Hey, we're good, we're good." It was super deep dark, but like, guess what? We got like work and responsibilities and whatnot, things we gotta get done, and we are ready for all of it. Like, nope, that is not, I repeat, not the way that that goes. I need to dig out this floor. I'm walking around like, well, I can't dig out the floor because I need to walk on it. No, I don't. Not because th this floor is like my actual part that I walk on is right here. <laughs> so this is far beneath. Like, what the freak? Where are we? Six. We're on six and I'm digging out multiple levels of dirt and I haven't even hit bedrock. Anyway, regardless. Hot ha, hot ha, hot ha, hot ha. Ah, there's bedrock. Knew it would be there. But uh but um bum 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 I'll tell you this for free. I know you paid your admission for other parts of this experience, but this part is free. I'm just giving it to you. You can have it. It'll be yours forever. And by the time I described it, I'd forgotten what it was. I had a, the key to the truth of life. The way to the knowledge of having. The having knowledge worth all of the weight in the brains that had it. Anyway... Um, yeah, and I forgot it, so don't worry, it's fine, it's fine. Oh yeah, we're waiting out our interminable nights. Oh, and Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, yeah, so waiting out our interminable nights, you know, uh, the actual nighttime... You know, the daytime is better for so many things. You know, being able to see, being able to get stuff done, 
and have, you know, the vigor of body required to do said stuff. It, it's just, it's a good time to be able to feel that way. Oh, hello. My boat that I just left here. What the, I thought I had my boat in my inventory. Regardless. Well, yep. Yeah. Okay, did I run out of space to put down dirt? Because I don't put down this outer rim because you need that to get the next outer rim level. Well, easily, without having to jump in the water and potentially be mauled by a drowned. Because they just freaking mob up these waters like... We, wait, oh no, I still have the sand one over there, okay. Oh, I need to finish this one first. See, this is me making my Alan bigger. Because we require more island. We need it. We need the island for the beginning. Yeah, I, I worry about, <laughs> about this bin. You know, I mean, I am building my everything closer to a water monument temple whatever thingy you know what's funny is that i searched because i i was like i have never done one of these ever like i mean okay uh way back when i first started to play and when i first noticed them somebody was like ah oh, it's a water monument and I went down there in creative. This is back when, like, I used to ever spend any amount of time in creative. Like, now, if I do anything in creative in my in a survival world, it completely ruins the illusion that creative even existed. And so, um, yeah. Or that survival even existed. Sorry. My brain is wandering while I'm... Like, I, I'm not listening to me tell you what I'm saying. This is boating very well. Because I'm actually... Like, the main reason that I'm on here and have my thing set up... Was so that I could record a different episode... Uh, of a different thing for this very channel... You know, one of my weekend type funses is what I was going to record. And, like, that's what I was going to do. Oh, I might need to put down new. Yeah, I need to put down new freaking cobbled type stone. Which, good for me. Because I haven't needed to put down new cobblestone for a bit. So, that's... Good. So, yeah. Ugh. Very common. This mistake. Bull. Bull. Anyway, um, so we're in here. We are playing Minecraft with. Lon Chaney and Bella Lugosi. Um, yeah, just me and a couple of friggin' monsters. Yeah, these these ghoulish fellas. Anyway. Oh, yeah, let's just wander off the edge in that that how dare. How dare you? Yeah, 
That's my purse. I don't know you. That is my purse. I do not know you. Yeah. Bobby's got the martial arts skills. Hot, ha, hot, ha. Oh my god, my kitty is catching moths and I have to go talk to her about it. That's lyrical, quite obvious, because I trust you know how to spell. Okay. Um, yes, twas here. Do you remember um, the 21st night of September? Or was it the 25th night? This is 20 something. Now I'm all unsure. I pranked my own mind. Come on, brain. Get with it. Um, you know what's hilarious? Okay, here's a fun fact that will make your mind, it'll make your brain eat itself. Um, it'll, it'll be a snake swallowing its own tail. Anyway, uh, so, um,. Here's here's what it is. Um, so there's a procedure, uh, the, a surgical procedure that is only done on people with extreme cases of. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh, mm. Uh. Mm. Goodness, yeah, that was a terrifying sneeze. It was one of those uh, allergy plus dad sneeze plus that time I went to the dentist and they were like, your sinuses are impossibly large. I was like, what what how what does that mean? And they're like, I don't know. Colds might be weird to you and allergies might be a problem. <laughs> Cause he was a dentist. He was like, I don't know all the things. He goes, see a real doctor talk about your giant sinuses. Um And he's like, do you snore? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And he's like, I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> it's like, well, what? Huh? Ha doctor. <laughs> Person with alleged medical degree. Um, how am I supposed to feel about this information you've just lobbed at my brain? Like, What? What are, you, what are you doing to me? Anyway, uh, yeah, so I have massive sinuses, ladies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, girls love a guy with big sinuses. Bigger the feet, bigger the sinuses. You know what they say. Anyway, I do have large feet, ladies. Um, yeah, size 13. Which means that, um, you know what else is big? Uh, the socks that I buy for my shoes. They're, they're quite large as well. I can't wear just, like, any old freaking socks. They don't, like, especially if I buy ankle socks, I have to even buy up a size because of the width of my feet. They're quite wide in addition to being long. And so, like, yeah, my socks size-wise, because they'll list out, you know, the size of shoe that they fit. Yeah, well, my socks are bigger than my shoes, technically, in terms of, like, lengthies, because of what I need in the widthies, because of my big freaking feet. Ladies, <laughs> like what? <laughs> Who are these ladies, and what? What is their life? <laughs> like, like yeah, listen to a guy describe 
his, you know, podiatral situation. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what gets into these ladies. Maybe, maybe they've gone wild. I heard that sometimes they go wild. And so, like, maybe that's what happened. And they're like, ah, tell me a history of various foot things with you. Oh, I've got more foot things. You want to hear foot stuff? Oh, well, first of all, you're weird. But I will tell you things about feet. Things you maybe wish you didn't know. Anyway, so... Oh, some of the bench. Oh, this freaking guy. Every dang time. Like, how dare you, sir? Ugh. Do you see this? Can I hit him? No, I can't. <laughs> but, like, he is very serious about getting that neck blood, you know? They like that neck blood. Thank you, Edvard Grieg. Thank you for that. Anyway. When was the last time you stopped and thanked Grieg? I mean... He he gave that to us, and it's Spooktober. What the frick? Where did you come from? Probably spawned back in here. Cause, or down here. Oh, probably down here, honestly. Yeah, that'd be my guess. It wouldn't be too hard for him to climb right up and shoot me in the buttocks. Wait, in in the foot. Yeah, that seems to validate my point. If he's coming from below. Death from Below 1979. We all know that band. Anyway, um so yeah. Oh, Death from above 1979. That's, that's, um, sorry. <laughs> I used to live in Cambodia, so, like, that's, 79 is when, um, they were, quote unquote, liberated from the, uh, Khmer Rouge and by the Vietnamese and the Russians. But were they liberated? No, they got a freaking Soviet puppet government that, like, served the interests of the Vietnamese way more than it served the interests of the uh, people living in Cambodia at the time. Anyway, and, and this is, like, after taking into account a well-known, like, lo lengthy, long-held distrust and dislike between these two peoples like long longer than America has existed uh longer than a lot of countries of the world have existed um the, these two peoples have had a very strong distaste for each other not not the biggest fans of each other's work shall we say um, so yeah. So, Death from Above, 1979. Oh, I wonder what that's on about. You, like, you name your band that. Are you making fun of the suffering of millions of people? Or you just have clever band names. Yeah. 
They probably just have clever band names. That's probably it. Probably not much in the caring about the sufferings of the other peoples. Anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do, 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 do. Those of you who are super cool will recognize that particular Nintendo Entertainment System game th song. It's one of the uh, few selectable songs from that game. The game also was... Um, released in one form on the, I believe there was a super version of it. Um, but if there wasn't, there was a 64 version of it. And it's been included in many other, like, you know, he's, he's in the Smashing Brothers, pretty sure. But who isn't in Smash Bros. these days? You know, am I right? Um, yeah. But if you know the do 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 do, if you know that theme song, then you are like cool with puzzlers. You're like, I, I likes me some puzzly type games. Anyway. Baby don't give me that golden crisp. Oh man. Um I'm mining like an idiot. You see this? This means that I mined all the way from there to here without realizing that I didn't finish mining this. Come on. <sighs> well, disappointment aside. What? Is it daytime yet? Oh, thank the maker. This oil bath is going to feel so good. Oh, my aching joints and circuits. Anyway, um, look, I'm just simply a protocol droid. I am not very good at telling stories, except later on in the series. When I'm freaking, like, keeping the entire freaking 
population of the Ewoks just enthralled with the power of my storytelling. Like, what? I told my master that I apparently have to obey because... Dur Asimov, Asimov's laws of robotics, and um, he asked me to tell him about things that I definitely knew about because I was there. And I'm like, no, can do, boss. I'm not going to tell you the story. And then later on, of my own volition, I choose to tell these little furballs that we've made friends with about all the parts of the movies that they had not seen. Like, what? Are you or are you not good at telling stories, 3PO? Don't lie to me. Don't you lie to me, 3PO. Swear to God, it drives me nutso bananas. Get those droids that lie to you. Like, I mean, everybody thinks that it's R2-D2 that would be capable of lying. No, you freaking look at it. R2-D2 is absolutely 100% honest 100% of the time. Like, never duplicitous, never says anything that isn't strictly true. Um, and in spite of, like, swearing a, a, a fair bit, <laughs> like, definitely... <laughs> R2-D2 definitely says some swear words. Like, um, but yeah. Um, so, which is funny because, like, I don't think if you watch the, um, like, watch with the captions on, I don't think it's like, R2-D2 swearing, you know, it's just like, makes the noise that robots make. Anyway, um... So, <laughs> uh, yeah, C-3PO is a liar and a fraud, and R2-D2 has really been your actual buddy this whole freaking time. Um, and also, K, okay, R2-D2... C-3PO, male, female, what do you think? Because, you know, people want to say that C-3PO is female because of the shape of the chest plate. But, um, what? The freak is that? Looks like a Teletubby. What? Did they add Teletubbies to the freaking game? You saw that, right? There it is again. Teletubbies. I'm telling you. That's the yellow one. Hinky Dinky. Oh my god, if Hinky Dinky is even remotely close to the actual name of that Teletubby, I am giving myself a hundred dollars. <laughs> Out of my account and right back in. Um, hold up. Alright, boop. Never you mind why I was looking at Steven Spielberg's filmography and a freaking um, Cypress Hill track. Don't worry about it. No reason. K. Teletubbies. Say A O. Do they? Do they though? Tinky Winky. Hold up. Hold up. Purple. Oh man, hinky dinky. I was pretty close though. I give myself fifty. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait. Um. Bl 
stubborn and he's black. White pattern. Oh, green. Yellow. Lala. Okay. Lala is no, nowhere near tinky winky pinky stinky. Anyway, just reading about this show. Just reading about this show. What? <laughs> Stated by the show's creators to be Cantonese? What? What is this? Anthropomorphic blue vacuum cleaner? What are we even talking about? Like, reading any portion of the Wikipedia page for Teletubbies will scar me for life longer than watching any episode of the Teletubbies. And they have a son that is the baby. Like, presumably, the baby watching the show, because it's a show made for babies. The baby watching the show is to the Teletubbies the the actual sun that provides light, heat, energy, warmth, and all the things a planet needs to produce life. Like, in the show, the baby watching the show is that to the existence of the Teletubbies. Which, like, is technically true, sadly enough. Because would we even freaking have Teletubbies if it were not for the existence of babies. I mean, I hear what you're saying. You make a relevant point about, like, well, as long as we continue to have LSD, we will probably have shows like Teletubbies. And I am and I tell you what, uh, I tell you what right now, like, um, freaking Lazy Town, that, that is a show that is made by people on LSD. Don't know, never tried LSD, don't have any idea of what it feels like, don't want to know, no interest whatsoever. Like, we don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee, we don't take no trips on LSD. Yeah, that's the freaking Oki from Muskogee. You know, White Lightning is still the biggest thrill of all. Actually, white lightning is terrible because it's moonshine. It's freaking uh, freshly distilled whiskey. So it's like not even done yet. It's not even aged or barreled. You know what I'm saying? Like drinking copious amounts of non-aged whiskey. What? That's your solution for life, you Oki from Muskogee? Oh my goodness. Like, did you know that if you just have a distillery where every year they just keep cranking out barrels of it, um, but they didn't release their first, you know, amount of product for 12 years, then... You know, and what do they do during those first 12 years? Typically, buy up barrels of other people's overstock and sell it under their own label, which is what High West Whiskey did for a number of years. And now their stuff is finally going to be old enough for them to sell their own actual, um, you know, whiskeys that they have been uh, distilling and aging on their own. Anyway, white lightning, get the freak out because, uh, there is a reason we have oaken barrels, you know, it's not that like, uh, it, you know, oaken barrels are the easiest thing to transport liquids in. Wrong. Like transporting liquids. I mean, you transport liquids in all kinds of stuff. Freaking plastic and whatnot. But like, why do oaken barrels exist? Oaken barrels exist because they provide flavor. 
to the things embarreled within them. I mean, granted, uh, there was a time where many more things were kept in barrels because barrels were plentiful and the business of being a cooper was a uh, reasonable institution to be a part of. You know, they weren't yet displaced by mechanization um, and, and whatnot and the, the age of plastics. And so, yes, many things were kept in barrels, but why, why specifically was, uh, were whiskeys kept in, in oaken barrels with their charred staves and whatnot? Why, uh, you know, when we could have started putting them in other things a long time ago, we felt like it. Well, why? Um, because freaking, uh. It tastes delicious when it's been aged in an oaken barrel. And everyone knows this. Everyone knows this. So, you proud Oaky from Muskogee. Like, look, I understand that you're an American. And as such, you have ancestors who were, like, chased down and, like, uh, pursued by law enforcement for doing a thing which is now very legal you know and not only very legal but if you're good at it people are like oh tip a cap to that guy that's a guy who knows how to make a quality liqueur <laughs> well a liqueur is a different thing a, a quality spirit that that's how you say that yeah because it is a spirit. Because it's been distilled. Anyway. Because the distillation process causes the water to evaporate. And the alcohol is heavier than the water. Ta-da! Distillation. Distillation. <sighs> Distillation, distillation. Um, anyway. So yeah, I think all I've done thus far is disprove the point of Oki from Muskogee. Like, because if he's saying like, hey, in Muskogee we know how to do it right, and our idea of doing it right is doing alcohol wrong? Like, what? You're saying that the choice in your song is between doing recreational drugs or drinking the wrong type of freaking alcohol for someone with a decent palate. And you're trying to imply that your way is right, but... Come on. Anyway. And I'm proud to be an Oki from Muskogee. A place where even squares can have a ball. Yep, that's, if I sing any more of that, then I'll be owing somebody money, <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, and I'll try and explain, like, well, it didn't make any money because of how I run my channel. And they would be like, that is not our concern. <laughs> we don't care how you run your channel. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> what we care about is you're not the guy that we're related to or... Oh, it's some of the bench. Just let that go away because I didn't realize it was lava under here. What? Since when has that been lava? It doesn't even say bubbles under there. Normally you get an indicator like, ooh, it bubbles, toils and troubles. Like, nope, nothing. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, 
Ugh. Anyway, so proud Okies from Muskogee. And, you know, here's something that I find spurious. A place where even squares can have a ball. You think squares are having a ball in the country? You know, people who are uncool. People who are unlikable. So, yeah, you think those are the people in the Deep South who are having a great time. Uh, nah. I... <laughs> For, for a second there, I thought about Ron DeSantis, and I was like, oh, unlikable moron that people like in the Deep South and seems to be having a good time. Dang it. Dang it, he does exist. <laughs> he's a square, and he's having a ball. And they're letting him. They're like, woohoo, DeSantis taking on the government. More people die in your state than anywhere else. And by God, we're going to help you do more of that death stuff so we can preserve the right to life. Overturn Roe v. Wade. <laughs> like, what? More COVID death, less baby death. It's, it's less sad when they had a chance to grow up a little. Oh, goodness. That's absurd. <sighs> These silly, silly geese. Anyway, I'm just glad the morons in my own state um, lost their ability to be like, there shall be no teaching of historical fact if it makes white children feel bad. And, um... <laughs> and, and, and the court be like, the what now? The huh? Like you're trying to protect the feelings of who during the teaching of history? Like, um, I'm sorry. Like, there's a lot of parts of history that involve white people oppressing non-white people and taking over their land and such not. Like, that's a significant part of history. <laughs> like... How the frick do you think we got all the people around? Um, oh god, that was terrifying. I did not expect that. I just, all of a sudden... Oh, some of the bench. Now I'm mining over where the temple is. Oh, cheese malise. Pepper squeeze. Now, oh, and it's still the middle of the night. Well, shut the front door. I tell you what, that elder guardian done did me dirty. I tell you what he done. What he done, I, I wouldn't do to a daggum old dog. I just want to... I want to see how long it takes me to mine through this here. Hey, you know, you know what kind of people we really like back where I'm from? Squares. You know, geeky guys, but, uh, you know, not the kind who are like, you know, getting it done with the ladies, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, them kind of geeky guys who are like, you know, um... Good looking and don't need to be geeky to actually impress girls and whatnot. And then like, um, you know, they're geeky, but like not really, but just a little bit about like one thing and girls be like, oh my God, hi, I think I saw you in chemistry class or whatever. No, um, 
hey, I just want to tell you your hair looks amazing. And um, I just always notice that. So, like, you know, I just want to say hi. Oh, I'm Christina, by the way. Yeah. Anyway, I love seeing you in class. And, like, you know, keep that hair game up. Like, it's just... You know, you're killing it this year. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll totally give you my number of hair. Let me write it down for you. Yeah, like, you can call me, like, or whatever. That's... No, I'm cool with that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, bye. Um, I'll see ya. End scene. Whatever the frick that was. Ooh, maybe I'll get an axolotl. How much longer is this freak? Oh, no. Oh, no. I did not think... I did not think that it would still be going. Or that, that it would stop me from... Uh, breaking that block if I checked on the time that was left on my freaking <sighs> I'm a freaking mining sickness like don't do me dirty like that dog dog oh oh hello oh hello <laughs> hello what am I Richard Feynman, or what was his name? Is that his name? You know, the guy? Richard Feynman? The physicist? No, who's the guy? He's on... It's good. Hypochondria. Richard Kind. Richard Kind. Yes. Richard Kind. Anyway. Is he playing um, one of the dads on Big Mouth? These are... Th Inquiring minds want to know. Yep. Marty Glauberman, thank you very much. That is, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I rest my case. Richard Kind. I said Richard Feynman because I knew it had an I in, in it, but like, Feynman, Kind, uh, Related, not exactly similar, but it's share a uh, a long vowel and consonant blend, which is not nothing. Uh, those are the glowing, those are the glowing ones. Yes, we got some of the glowing ones. Yeah, they probably you know the. Freaking Guardian fish killed him or something. Wait, what? Oh, that's because <laughs> my my inventory is so very full. So yeah, the freaking Guardian fish are killing things, and I went over there to get the glowing ink sacks, and I totally missed because because why? Because. Oh, where are they? Holy smokus. Can he reach me from here? Oh, is he going to come after the dolphins? Don't come after the dolphins. Dolphins are my friend. 
Go, go, gadget dolphin power. Swim to safety, dolphin. Don't let the guardian get at you. Um, anyway. Still, though, I wish I had that glowing... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's the squid they... <laughs> Which obviously is how the sacking got way over here. When it was over here. But yeah. Anyway. Ocean currents in the Minecraft? Maybe, I don't know. Oceanic currents in the Minecraft. Yeah, let's use this junk stone that just does nothing but, like, make my life sad because of its ugly color. Yeah, take that, you junk stone. Yeah. In your face, you junky junk. Ha. <laughs> Thought you were useful, I bet. Yeah. Thought I might like your coloration. Ha <laughs> ha, nope. You're just a junk stone. In a, in a regular game of Minecraft where I'm not freaking on an island so close to like elder guardians who can make me poop my pants at any time. Anyway, um, yeah, I would be chucking you in an incinerator. <laughs> but I need a place to put my dirt blocks now, so... I get to use you. You very definitely valuable thing. Yes, let's just keep radio silence and just put down blocks. Yeah, that's that's good YouTube content. That's what the people pay for. That's where the big bucks come from. Hey, this video is brought to you by Round Space. Round Space, make yourself a square peg in a round hole. Also brought to you by GoDaddy. GoDaddy, now we sell web space to black people. <laughs> Look. Have you seen the latest GoDaddy commercials? For real. Like, okay. GoDaddy basically convinced everyone that Danica Patrick was hot. It was like, yep, this this woman is hot. And we said so. And she's going to appear in bikinis and stuff in our commercials. And we were like, all right. I guess, I mean, I guess that's one way to sell. Wait, what is it? What do you sell? Web hosting space? And you're selling it with, you know, bikinis and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Definitely sell web, sca web space with bikinis. That just never don't have that as your business model. Anyway, uh... So, yeah, that's what they did. This is literally 100% factual. That is actually what they actually did for a long time. And then, um, at one point, people were like, Hey, uh, we got this new thing we started, like, I don't know, seven, eight years back. It's called, like, listening to women when they're being like oppressed and abused and like you know held to be less as less than in society like you know 
uh, someone abuses their power who is male on on a female person like abuses it for you know anything up to and including you know sexual favors or whatnot like yeah that's totally not cool so yeah like we, we just definitely definitely are in that mode you know what I'm saying do you understand what I'm getting after here so yeah it's like that kind of a world for women that we're trying to have so whatever <laughs> But yeah, the um yeah, so their current ad campaign is literally all black people. It's like, ooh, build something for you. Build something that'll help you build generational wealth that you will spread to raise your entire community out of poverty. You know? <laughs> These guys in suits, like they're coming right out of church and whatnot. And like, you know, and they're all dancing and whatnot. And it, it feels for just a second, for just like a half second, like it's about to break into a, a part of the This Is America video. And, and then it ends before it turns into, you know, any part of the This Is America video. Yeah, Childish Gambino did not appear in the latest uh, freaking GoDaddy commercial. And and so it was just like, hey, we we now sell Oh jeez. Okay, he up there. He not down here with me. Anyway. But they'd be like, Yeah, we now sell web space to black people which is funny because did you not sell web space to black people before? Like cause you sell web space. <laughs> like, w was there a time when black people's money was not as good as white people's money? And w was that, like, did you have some sort of, you know, like, guy dude bro douchebag running your freaking company who was like, yeah, all of our ads are gonna be your know, chicks in bikinis you know what i'm saying and we're gonna be the bad boys of web hosting and uh you, we're gonna get the hottest girl you can think of danica patrick race car driver and she's gonna show up in our ads and she's gonna be like you know as undressed as she's comfortable being and uh you know a couple of girls around her are gonna be slightly even more undressed than that and uh we're gonna move some web hosting it was freaking people are gonna get websites through us that's what i'm telling you and when people get websites through you ka-ching ka-ching goes the cash machine <coughs> and so yeah that's uh that's our business model <laughs> and then later on they'd be like um well, has come to our attention um, that uh, the same guy who sold us on a business model of, uh, you know, how hot Danica Patrick is. We were all, for a brief time, very thrown by his Ed Hardy shirts and his frosted tips. Um, yes, uh, well, we've realized that... Uh, he was, in fact, uh, uh, basically very racist and uh, was not allowing us to sell web hosting to black people. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like, what? Come on, GoDaddy. Like, you can't just whitewash history like that. You were secretly America's most racist company. For a long time, you didn't sell any freaking web hosting to black people. You only sold it to horny white men. 
And you know what? Granted, that makes up a significant portion of the internet. But like, come on. That's that's who you sold web space to. And you would not sell it to black people in like business attire that's bright and colorful like they're just coming out of church. You know what I'm saying? You're not selling to those guys. Those guys... Freaking, um, they're bringing doo-wop back. First of all, that's happening. They are absolutely and 100% bringing doo-wop back. So, uh, you know, all of your favorite doo-wop hits will soon be right back on top of the radio. And uh, all, all the kids will be bipping and bopping to that. Uh, that's, you know, it's going to hit Spotify soon. It's going to blow up. So, uh, yeah, just be prepared for that to be a thing. And, uh, yeah. That I, I can't believe that, you know, you, a web hosting company, even if your CEO at the time was a douchebag, would refuse when there were so many, apparently, of these young African-American gentlemen and their doo-wop bands and their fresh out-of-church looks and, you know, like, they're dancing on rooftops but indicating that soon they're going to be dancing on top of the world because, you know, they, they got nowhere from but up from here. And there is nothing standing in their way except for, you know, like how racist bank loan policies are how is it that more white people get bank loans banks what the frick like think white people need more loans that's that's what you think more white people have generational wealth than black people so you know how about um i'm not saying penalize white people because sometimes like here's the thing sometimes people be like um, like feminists be all like, hey, it's unequal for men and women out there. Women are not equal to men. And, and the men be like, oh crap, they're going to drag us down to their level. <laughs> We're going to have to have it as bad as they have it. And it's like, wait a minute. You're recognizing that they have it bad. How about you just raise them up to your level where you're not having it bad and they can also not have it bad and no one need have it bad because why did someone need to have it bad? What? <laughs> anyway, regardless. Hmm. Well... I've been doing what I do in this crazy world. This crazy Minecraftian world that I have. Building out my island and building up all of my things. Pretty soon I'm going to need to build myself a home. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like I can't have no sort of home until I got myself a bed and I'm not gonna have a bed until I get sheep spawn I'm not gonna get sheep spawn until they realize that when I put a freaking torch on an island that's like reasonable distance away that I want friendly mob spawns and um, they don't bring me friendly mob spawns and that makes me angry so <sighs> anyway people um, I've got another thing I need to record, so you know I don't. I can't spend my whole night with you. I gotta go spend my night with whoever listens to the other ridiculous thing I do. Not this. This is fairly freaking normal. The other stuff I do is like someone let those million monkeys in a million rooms with a million typewriters, and uh, they did not come up with Shakespeare, but they came up with something. Anyway, um, hey, people, this has been a thing. What has it been? It's been Island Craft with Rem Pemberton of the Clemson Pembertons. You know the one. Anyway, hey, 
Infinite regression. It's good to see you, friend. Even if you have to come through the infinite regression. Sometimes, sometimes you put the salty in the sweet and you're like, ooh, that sweet's a little more, mmm. It's got a little something to it. Mmm, I see what you're saying. You, you put a little sour with the sweet and you're like, oh, oh, hey now. I, ooh. Nice. I, I see what's happened. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's a good thing. This is what I'm telling you. So, um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this one. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.